What's up guys, it's Shani with Healing Elements. Welcome you guys back with lots of love and light, of course, to my channel. And if you are new to my YouTube channel, welcome, soul, family member, glad to have you. You can subscribe by clicking below. So this is the newest video I'm adding to the playlist all about spirit animals. If throughout your life you've ever resonated with a specific spirit animal, perhaps one of them is within this list, you can take a listen, or I invite you to perhaps intuitively choose um, if you have never considered a species or animal to be a totem or a spirit animal to you. Maybe intuitively choose one or two within this list, take a listen, and you just might discover some traits, messages, or any positivity within those videos. So today, guys, I am giving my take and also traditional symbolism all about the praying mantis spirit animal, the praying mantis spirit. So the praying span, uh, mantis spirit is an incredibly zen spirit. The energy is very zen. So if you resonate, you are very mellow, a total like kickback, go with the flow type of energy is always about you. Um, praying mantis spirit symbolizes the type of energy that is harmonizing and serene. So it harmonizes and balances. So you often evoke those um, qualities and traits about you. You definitely harmonize situations, balance situations, and your own energy, time, and actions as well. Um, you also, you know, are representative, if you resonate with this spirit, of being within a balanced way of thinking and perspective. So your perspective is basically by making peace with the varying degrees of experiences, you know, ones that are harder than others, that you'll be enriched and more fulfilled in life to make peace with that. Your motto is it is always more effective to remain calm and peaceful under pressure or in very emotionally uplifting or excitable situations also. You know, definitely seem very serene and zen to others. And quite literally, you are because you carry this divine sense of a quiet contentment. You also seem to constantly be in this curiously meditative state, even if, uh, again, there's a lot going on. So it's very, you know, indicative of someone who does not freak out. And just, you know, like many ancient type of martial arts with many martial arts disciplines, they've studied over and over the praying mantis actually for its elegant yet lethal moves. You know, these moves are done with quick striking precision by you within your life and everything you do. You do, it was, you know, striking motion, but yet again with elegance and a certain calm stillness, a sort of like energetic gracefulness within things that need to be accomplished or under fire. So if guys, you resonate with this spirit animal of the praying mantis, you seem to make life look to others as though it's your constant outlook on life to remain present and still but use precision and a gracefulness even in the most adverse situations and crazy scenarios. So, you know, you, you believe truly that points in our life are somewhat of a battle, yes, but time and time again, you remind people of the importance about, you know, remaining throughout hardships, calm, present, and taking it with a grain of salt, you know, or just experiencing these trying times with a little bit more ease often helps. So also if you do resonate with the praying mantis spirit animal, you often are asked even why you make life look like a breeze. So sometimes people can get, you know, unfairly maybe angry at you, mad at you for remaining a little too calm in their opinion during a communication exchange of some sort, meeting maybe, or during confrontation. But again, that's unfairly projected onto you because this trait of making life look like a breeze can inspire just in the same way, can either inspire or aggravate people. 
But nonetheless, if you relate to this spirit animal of the praying mantis, it doesn't bother you and you frankly don't care who it aggravates. You deeply, though, only care who it inspires and how it inspires them to be more helpful to others and themselves in life. Also, this spirit animal is symbolic of the genius of extremely high intellect. Um, you definitely possess comprehension skills that would confuse most people. You spend a lot of that time when you make life look like a breeze studying to always raise your bar on self-discovery, knowledge, and awareness. You know, basically throughout your life, you understand for it is wise to always be willing to learn for there's an infinite amount of wisdom and new information out there together. So this is something that is of great importance and value to you if you resonate with the praying mantis spirit. Also, you feel completely in sync with Mother Nature, a, you know, hippie child or earth maiden earth kind of um, properties, principles, you know, maybe rituals, routines, or yearnings that you have have to do a lot with the earth element. So you're in tune 24 hours a day to the intricacies of our earth and all its inhabitants, spending a lot of quiet time being mindful of this and how beautiful and collectively symbiotic we all are. So you teach people that truth of yours as well throughout your life. Um, also, people who relate to this spirit animal usually have a very elegant or smooth sounding voice that is very pleasant to listen to. It's often melod melodic or just very soothing to people. Um, people ask you sometimes often to read aloud, you know, either in a class scenario in school or maybe even in libraries like two other children um, or people ask you to give motivational speeches even. Um, or be chosen to give a speech at a wedding where a very joyous yet calm sentimental touch is appreciated because you're very good at that naturally. You're often, you know, somebody who is asked also to give tributes or eulogies, maybe even a spiritual leader. You're very good at giving, you know, maybe a, a sermon of just important positive affirmation of any kind. So if you resonate with the praying mantis spirit, you are huge sense of comfort to others and so is your voice your voice is just like the energy felt in your presence it is consistent it is reliable and you are very welcoming and is your voice it never wanders from excitable to dreary you know no matter what place in your life people find you you provide them consistency you're consistent with your voice and presence to providing them a calming scenario and energy and it's very appealing to others in that way you value very much the balance of giving off the same tempo tone and pace within your personality and your spirit you know and the energy it puts off you also you know again being you know the symbolic spirit animal of supreme intelligence and genius you use your intelligence to create very unique ways that you'll be able to share the knowledge and pass it on to other people, the knowledge that you've learned that aligns with your higher self. You're never pushy or forceful. You deliver this message again, how your presence is very poised and calm, but you know, you create unique ways of, you know, relating to others to explain your truth. For example, you will study or observe the person's ability to perceive concepts. And then you will use the conceptual platform basically that the person understands more easily or the most to deliver the knowledge you're trying to get across. So for example, um, visually, you know, shown to somebody, is that going to be more effective? You'll observe, or let's say someone is very logical in nature, like a logical type, then you'll choose to, um, let's say, give statistics to explain something. So you see parallels in everything and you're able to intellectually draw out what parallels are important in delivering whatever message you are trying to. Also, you know, you love to concentrate intently. So again, back to being a genius, it's something you crave, you know, so you could love crossword puzzles. Um, 
you know, escape rooms, murder mystery type dinners, um, you know, crime solving books or documentaries of that sort, uh, scavenger hunts, you know, um, solving any kind of puzzle, riddle, anything like that presented to you is exciting for you. You could even be someone actually who does complex mathematical equations just for fun because, again, the concentration is meditative for you. It helps you stay in that balanced Zen state. And you're also someone who is an avid reader. You like that zone. When those activities are being done by anybody, that's the energy that you gravitate to. You're the type of person who actually loves when the box says assembly required and opposite of me. I totally am not that kind of technical person. You get excited and stay calm even if you're missing a part or if something goes wrong during the process, but it never does with you because you're slow and deliberate to make sure that you get the job done. You're also no, you know, you're no fool. So you are not one to cave under pressure if you relate to the mantis spirit. When the circumstances get difficult, you simply just show poise and adjust as needed. You are not one to keep into pressure from others either. So someone could ask you a million times to do something that you do not want to do. And if it's not your truth, the praying mantis spirit animal in you, if you relate, will never give into pressure that is not your truth and stay calm while they're berating you, you know, with persuasion. Also, this spirit animal is symbolic of ancient wisdom in general, you know, divine knowledge, secrets of our past civilizations, um, ancient healing practices or modalities, um, or in general, any way to make use of natural resources for health or self-improvement, both mentally and physically. So this is very, very, you know, shaman-like energy of the spirit animal, the praying mantis. You also are a person who, you know, you do not assume things. You do not like assumptions. You do not like stereotypes. You never assume anything about anyone or anything. You believe in that, you know, never judge a book by its cover principle wholeheartedly and never ever jump to conclusions either when trying to intellectually solve those kind of puzzles that you're presented with. Uh, you also are, are defensive in nature. So defensive in a good way. For instance, you only will prey upon and seize that which you need to survive when it's absolutely necessary or if provoked. So if you're provoked, just like the elegant martial artists, immediately you take a stance for defense and precise attack if needed, being ready almost moments before the attack comes because you're so keen on observation and intellect. So you strike with enormous speed, efficiency, and focus when you do. Um, you also really do, just going back to that topic of assembling things and liking puzzles, you also appreciate the process of things and like the process, taking things slowly along the way, um, appreciating the steps and all the actions that you take when you work toward your goal. You often, you know, look forward to taking your time on things and the process of things. And you actually like making very slow, deliberate, powerful moves to achieve the goals that you set out to. So also, if you relate to this spirit animal, you're very drawn to colors, you know, just very, very drawn to colors. Some spirit animals or just different energies really are drawn and feel vibrations within music. And in this way, you feel vibrations within color. So um, this spirit animal is representative of the aura of earth tone colors also that are here in the physical. Um, it's symbolic of the relation that color plays to everything. If you resonate with the praying mantis spirit, it's very easy for you to see these vibrations within the vast spectrums of colors that you see in everything in life, even if you're someone who's blind, honestly. Um, you also, again, going with that Zen and, you know, peace, loving demeanor, you advise people always to let go of any angst, regret, frustration, or disappointment, even when they feel unsuccessful or really hurt or down about something, you just remind them to trust the process and then to go into it with faith. So you're very uh, effective with providing comfort to people in all different, you know, scenarios. This spirit animal also has significant meaning to 
the overall ability to push forward, like with this steady consistency and progress, even when you've been pushed so hard, you really feel like giving up. You just never force success. So that's why you put off this, you know, flow. You embody the whole ability to just let success happen, to be more productive in your craft. So you lead by example with this and you show people by, you know, never giving up and just letting success happen, but making deliberate, slow, steady action and steps along the way, success will inevitably come and that is promised. So you are also, you know, someone who you can just tell by looking at them are very wise and practical in all you do, methodical, not erratic. Um, you're also detail oriented. So somebody who likes the details and kind of innuendos and maybe things that others wouldn't notice. You like those things about anything in life. Um, no detail basically escapes you. Your observation and the observational skills you have are always, always on point. Um, you also really remain so present and in tune in that state of that martial arts type defense move that it's like you're like Bruce Lee is still as a mountain, like with eyes locked observing in everything you do. So waiting for the attack of anything like a, you know, project or maybe you're giving birth to something person or otherwise, you're just always locked and ready. So as to be able to, again, act first with defense, seeing everything a little prior to it actually happening, right? When you're truly in tune. So the praying mantis spirit animal, people often experience a lot of deja vu. So um, they experience deja vu and are able to actually walk through old memories when they go into a meditative state or concentrate hard enough. And they have a photographic memory. So you have a very, very vivid photographic memory with color and you enjoy slowly walking back in these memories and moments again so you can experience it briefly, right? So, okay, guys, I thank you so much for listening and allowing me to share all about the praying mantis spirit animal with you guys. I truly appreciate all the support you give to me um, in Healing Elements. You can always support my channel by subscribing or share my videos to your social media giving videos a like or commenting. I definitely read them all. Love you guys. And also if you click the little bell icon alongside the subscribe button, you'll get notifications whenever I post. And I'm constantly adding to this list in particular and others. But thank you with a lot of love, blessings, and light. This was all about the spirit animal of the praying mantis, guys.